Okay, so we're finishing up our gift wrap sequence. We've been building all week. This is the last piece of that, okay? So I'll run through what we've done so far, and then I'll show you the last thing we're doing. So we have them on our closed guard, okay? We're gonna reach over, get a cross grip on the sleeve, on the top, we're gonna take our other hand, reach under, grab our own wrist to reinforce, okay? This is a very strong grip break here. Let's say he has my lapel. I'm gonna do a grip break here. So I'm gonna push my hips up to create a clear path and to give me a little pop when I pull back down. I'm gonna pull up and away and over. And as I pull him down, after I do the grip break, I'm pulling my legs into me to trap this arm, okay? Then I'm gonna do a tiny adjustment, not a huge adjustment, just to get a little more of an angle on the arm so that it's harder for him to pull it out and so that it's easier for me to reach over to the wrist, okay? So I'm now handing it off here, and now we have a gift wrap, okay? Gotta make sure I'm keeping my arm low. If I'm hanging out here with the gift wrap, Lucy Goosey, he's gonna come out. Once I get it, right, I'm pinching my elbow down towards his neck or towards his like scapula to make this nice and tight. And I'm keeping my chest tight to his head. Take my free hand. I'm gonna do a big swivel here, right? I wanna look into his ear. Get my leg nice and high. This one high in his armpit. This one does the pendulum and we rock over. Okay, so now we're in a technical mount, all right? That's a sweep plus a mount, six points. This arm comes in to this gap. I wanna make a little space. If I'm holding it super tight, there's no space. Holding it tight is good for positional control, but it's gonna make it hard to do the Ezekiel. So I'm gonna bring my shoulder down, push the arm out a little just for a second, slide my arm in, okay? And then I tighten it back up. Now I'm gonna extend my bottom arm and my top arm and make like a scissoring motion, it hurts. Maybe it submits them, maybe it doesn't, but it hurts. So test the Ezekiel, all right? Let's say he doesn't tap, okay? I'm gonna take this arm off his neck and just cup his shoulder with it. Bring my left knee up like a pillow for his head. I'm gonna cheat my right foot down towards his hip because now I'm gonna do a back take, right? So I'm using this and the shoulder hook. I'm gonna just sit back onto my butt and then roll to the other side. As we go, I'm putting this leg in between his legs. Now we're here, this leg comes over. Okay, this hand comes to the wrist. Now we have two on one control. I'm gonna hand off here. I'm gripping right where his hand meets his wrist. Makes a nice little flat surface area, okay? Harder for him to swim his hand out when I have it like this, all right? Now I have this arm controlled, one less arm to defend the choke. We're gonna come in nice and deep, get a thumb in grip, okay? I'm rolling, I'm rolling the gi so that it creates a bar on his carotid. I want a nice hard rod, wait a minute. Oh. I want a nice firm gi on his carotid artery, okay? So we're here, we've got our back control now, we've got our points. I'm gonna take this hand down, up and around behind his neck, and then we're extending to create the choke. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to edit that out. Okay. One more time. That's the whole sequence, okay? 10 points plus two submission attempts. Hopefully one of them works. Let's go this way a little. So we come over, get a grip. He's, he's gripping my lapel probably because he's trying to do a pass. Take this arm underneath, grab my own wrist, push my hips up, break, pull it down, reach across. Do a little adjustment, reach across, get the wrist. This arm now comes underneath. I kick over, okay? Now we're in the gift wrap. I drop my shoulder, I make some space for my arm. Comes here, all right? I scissor, it hurts, maybe he taps, maybe he doesn't tap. This arm that was scissoring now cups his shoulder. This gift wrap arm stays tight. Knee up by his head like a pillow, foot down by his hip like a seatbelt. Okay, and then I sit back onto my heel and then I rock to my other butt cheek. This foot goes into between his legs. This hand comes down and grip here. Now we have two on one control. I hand it off. This hand now finds the collar, thumb in. I get a nice deep grip, okay? And we can also just do the straight cross collar choke, okay? If you guys prefer that one instead of the behind the neck one. If we're doing the straight cross collar one, we let the hand go. We just come and we grab the opposite lapel with this one, anywhere along the lapel. It doesn't have to be super high. It's actually better if it's kind of lower, right? I grab here, I pull it straight down, and then I pull my elbow back on this arm, my choking arm, behind his neck, and I stretch, okay? So this one comes down and creates a bar on this carotid. This one comes across like I'm slitting his throat, right? So that's the choke, all right? So that's the whole sequence for the week. Um, if you haven't been here, try to team up with someone who has. I'll walk around, make sure we're doing it right. Any questions? Okay, let's run it. One, two, three.